we sit in front of the doctor and the doctor gives us a report and the doctor says hey come on you have got this disease from today don't eat meat you know what happens to you your love for meat your desire for meat your interest for meat will just disappear but you know the doctor can be wrong but you have faith so it's not that you don't have faith you have just chosen where to use your faith for you've refused to use it for the word and use it on God you have faith is given to every man the measure of faith. Now, there's nothing wrong. I mean, people have come to me to pray for them. Oh, pastor, I'm sick. And I'm like, go to the doctor, find out exactly what's wrong so we know what to pray because I'm not a general practitioner. Are, are you following me? So I'm not against doctors. I'm trying to show you how words transfer faith. So God is telling us that for 40 years, people walked in the wilderness with snakes and vipers and all kinds of stuff. These people literally trekked for 40 years and none was feeble. It means that God can supernaturally keep our mortal body. God can keep you from being feeble. But you know, our theology and our lifestyle and our mindset it, it, it trains us to expect deterioration in old age. In fact, the word feeble means not to decay, not to faint, not weak. You know, we almost expect it. We, we almost have a mental picture of that the older we get, the more weak we're going to become. 